Hello crafty friends, this is Linda Gift Diva. Welcome back to the channel. How are you today? Are you good? I'm good as well. I just wanted to come on here really quick uh, with two quick hauls of things I received in the mail. Um, one from a new Etsy store that I found that I, I super duper love because you don't know if you've been on my channel at any length of time. I love a good rub on. And um, they do uh, I, IOD design transfers, and they do paint, and they did do a whole bunch of stuff. So I will link uh, Malik, and I hope I'm saying this right. I'm sorry if you all are watching and I'm butchering this, but Malika's Daughters, uh, I hope that's right. I will leave a link in the description box below, and then I have an order from Craft Stash. And sidebar here, I just want y'all to know, Anna Griffin is killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I'm watching these previews. It's my birthday month. She's got some good stuff, y'all. It's it's. Come on now. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, rant over. Uh, let me um. Get on with this here. Opening. So this first is from Craft Stash. And Christina Griffith, I think her name is, with Card Making Magic, came out with the new bundle. And I decided I had to have it. By the way, I think I'm thinking of having, well, I know I'm going to be giving away things on my channel all next month because it is my birthday um, and I do birthday all month and everyone I get is a blessing. And so, you know, I party like it's 1999 every, every, every birthday. And so I'm going to be giving away stuff on my channel. So stay tuned. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have any kind of challenge. I was thinking maybe I would just have you send me a birthday card uh, or... Instead of you having to mail me something, maybe if you just do a VR and wish me a happy birthday and see how many of I get. I don't know. I'll let you know on March 1st. I'm still thinking through it. But anyway, it will result in you being eligible for prizes. However that works. So anyway, Craft Stash. Let's get back to it. So this was her... Don't give me the line. I don't know what the name of the bundle is, y'all. Uh... Ooh, whoops, sorry, sorry, no, no injuries in the making of this video. Uh, it was just on the edge of the counter, so very sorry. Are you back in frame? Yes, you're back in frame. No worries, I'm not going to redo this because I think everybody's good. Are you okay out there? I'm okay over here. Sorry about that. I forget the name of this bundle. I will link it in the description box below if I can find it. But it included, oh, here's my little, this is what I'm looking for, my invoice. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, card Making Magic A6 Card Box Collection Complete Bundle. That's what I got. So I got an A6 card envelope die set. I love a good envelope die. I got an A6 box and card die set. Love a good box die. And I love the, um matte layers that go into making the A6. I can't remember what size A6 is, y'all. Uh, I knew this, but I can't remember at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't remember at the moment. Beautiful Borders die set. This is, looks pretty. Let's open this and see what we got going on here. The only thing I don't like about Anne Christina Griffith is that I wish... Well, I wish all dye companies would, you know, help some help, help us this out and put their stuff on a magnetic sheet, eh? So, here we go. Oh, so these are cute. So, you get the matte layer and the um, border, which is nice. Okay. So, that is nice. So let's put all that back in inside. I have to put that on a sheet. Um, so that is the decorative borders die set. So next comes the A6 nesting die set. You get 13 pieces in here. And you get, oh, they're stitched too. That's very nice. 
So that's going to be fun to play with. And then the circular sentiment die and stamp set. Oh. Let's see. I don't know why, but I didn't know that this came with it. So you get... You get the stamps. Happy birthday. It's your day. Let's celebrate. To someone very special. Birthday wishes. Sent with love from me to you. And then the circles to cut them out. Very cool. Very cool. I can't wait to play with that. It's going to go into my every gorm pile of things to play with. So that is the A6 um, card bundle from Craft Stash. Next is my package from Malika's Daughters. Now, I bought this because if you guys remember from my my, from my, my one and only Hobby Lobby clearance haul, I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying not to go in there. Um... Because I see, I'm watching the hauls, and there are things I'd love to have, but I don't necessarily need. So I'm trying to be good and staying out of there because Anna Griffin's going to take all my money next month. So, <laughs> that's pretty much where we are. Um, but, if you recall, in my last haul, I hauled the wood. They were like a dollar twenty-four. I don't have them near, I don't think, to grab. But they were like a dollar a piece. They're those wooden jewelry boxes. And then the wooden hanging basket thing that I was going to paint and decoupage since the mail thing came out so good. And I have one more mail thing. So that's why I went and on the hunt for like spring themed rub-ons. So I could do some spring, spring themed projects. So this is where this Malika daughters come in. Ma Maika. Ma Mika? Maika. Mika. I'm sorry, again, if I'm butchering that, y'all. Um, and so, this is the first one I got. It's knob transfers. And while I'm not going to use these on knobs, it would be cute on knobs, of course, but I'm not going to use them on knobs, probably. I'm going to use them um, on other spring take it out and see others oh it comes with the rope tool other spring projects I thought these would be fun I have these plastic boxes um, that I think these would be pretty on as even for Mother's Day like filling those with something fun and then putting these little French um, notions or the bees or something on. Well, the bees I have another project in mind for, but these other ones, I thought these would be pretty, like on perfume shaped 3D projects or something. Um, uh, so stay tuned for that. So that's why I got that. So I thought that would be pretty. Now, sometimes the idea in my head translates to a cute project, <laughs> sometimes not. So stay tuned. Let's see if I can get this back in the bag without too much fuss. No, no. Yay! Okay, yes. Well, I think this is more intended for furniture and home decor. You know I'm not going to use it for that. So, there you go. The next one I got was... This vintage wallpaper too, which is pretty lace trim. Again, same dealio. Um, mirror, glass, wood, and fiber. So I, so I have an idea for those jewelry boxes that I think will be pretty. Yeah, when I do the giveaways next month, it's going to be a mix of du duplicate products that I've been collecting in a box that I realize I have two of. Um, some handmade things. Um, 
some PayPal giveaway. Just, you know, just stay tuned. It's going to be fun. This is kind of a milestone birthday, sort of. So, um, it'll be fun. So, look how pretty these are. Those are super pretty. I should have got two of those. That is super pretty. I can think of... I mean, you could put them on paper projects. I just don't think that the possibilities are limited here. What do you think? So, these are really cute. So, I really like those. The last set is my favorite. Is why these two sets I bought because I just didn't want to order one thing and ship one thing. Because, you know, that's how my brain works. I'm, that's weird. Um, but this last one is the one I really wanted and thought, oh my God, I have to have this right now. So I'm hoping that the scale is right. So I'm terrible with that for what I have in mind. So here's the last one. It's bunnies. It's called Cottontail. Look at the bunnies. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in love. Look at that. I love a good bunny. I would probably have a bunny if my husband wasn't allergic to everything. Um, let's see. They're easy. You wouldn't have to walk them. <laughs> you just feed them and pet them. Let them roam for a little while. Okay, so here we go. Look at these. Oh, I love them. I love them. Look at that. Look, so he's about... He's about five and a half inches across. Where is my wood thing? I didn't put them away. Where is it? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Two seconds. Stop them on yourselves. Stop them on yourselves. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I don't know where they are. Wanted to put them up against... This would be helpful if your craft room wasn't a mess there. Okay, never mind. I think this works. They're five inches. So, I want to kind of edit that part out. <laughs> so, this is really cute. Look at, oh, look at him with the bow. Look at him with the bow. He's so cute. Wait. Oh, here we go. So he's five inches across. These are so adorable. Why did I only get one? Look how cute. I can see him on all kinds of things. Oh, these are so adorable. Yes, I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay, so that was over the bunnies. So, that is everything I got from, again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, my Ika's Daughters. Again, I will leave a link in the description box. They are super nice people to order from. I mean, they email you to thank you. They email you to tell you that it's shipped. They email you to tell you they hope you like it. And, you know, I mean, just communication, communication, communication. And it's wonderful. I love that. Um... I love supporting businesses like that. So, very good. And I told them I would mention them on my YouTube channel. And I have done that. So, go check them out. Show them some love. I mean, you know, you might not be in the market for all the things they sell necessarily. But, because, you know, I just came up on them randomly. But check them out anyway. Because they're a super, super great small business. And, you know, that's cute if I was into furniture refurbishing. Very cute. Okay. So that is everything I have today. 
Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> if you're not, welcome back. Thank you for watching. If, if you're already subscribed, you know how much I love you. Stay tuned. I've got some crafty projects coming up that um, I have videotaped but haven't edited. So, um, and they're coming up, you know, via collab and all of that. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back hopefully on March 1st to tell you what we're going to do to celebrate the birthday. Until then, um, stay safe, be kind to each other, craft something great, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.